Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a very rare bottle here on my cask. It's a cask strength bottling from Garner McPhail from the Milton Duff Distillery. It's 60.4 ABV Ooh. and it costs, well, around 150 euros, dollars, pounds because it's from 1994. So it's a bottle. Um, extremely old, first filled sherry cask and uh, it was distilled on September 22nd, 1994. It was bottled on September 27th, so just a week longer, uh, 2016, so it's 22 years old and it's a first filled puncheon. And puncheon is a sherry cask with a 500 liter content. Cask number 15,221 and typically the distilleries count the cask numbers starting from one in January 1st or 2nd. And uh, so this is quite a big distillery and Milton Duff produces a lot of whiskey for the blended whiskey industry. Uh, this bottle is natural color, non-chill filtered. Uh, and have a look at this wonderful dark color. I like it. Um, on the back they say um, pronounced sherry influences, yes, I believe, uh, with brown sugar and spices. The palate is peppery with stewed fruit, chocolate and hints of brazil nut. Um, yeah, and that's all. 60.4%. Uh, there is um, Gordon McPhail bottled several cars in that year and I think uh, I visited Milton Duff in 1994 or 1995, I'm not quite sure. There are pictures on whiskey.com in our whiskey database uh, about this distillery and uh, so this whiskey is so long in the cask as I was there the last time, so in between I haven't been there. Um, and this Whiskey distilleries uh, were used to uh, fill casks only if the proprietor of, of the casks uh, came with a lorry or half a lorry load so that they could fill a lot of casks, not only um, just one cask and uh, write an invoice for one cask. No, they would like to sell a lorry and uh, yeah, have big amounts <laughs> on their invoice. Uh, to bring costs for this transaction down. So Gordon McPhail bought probably a lot of those uh, casks somewhere and typically they have equal casks in a bad, e equal type of casks from the same source bought uh, from Spain from a oil cask broker and then they are filled with the identical whiskey from the same batch and then they move them in their own warehouses in Elgin, um, not too far away from the Milton Duff distillery, so, uh, and put them in the same row in the warehouse to mature. So the result of these whiskies is nearly equal between different batches, not different batches, between different bottlings from different casks. You can also see the Uh, 2016 bottling has 59.9% of alcohol and this one has 60.4 and there's no cork on it and there you can see this parafilm for, because uh, there wasn't a cork in it and just the capsule uh, closed the bottle and uh, yeah so these uh, failure during the procession of the bottle gave me the chance uh, to have a taste of this because uh, those bottles sell without any Yeah, any advertisement they just sell uh, because those dark whiskies are so often asked for and with a 150 it's quite in cast length from a first fill sherry cask they are outstanding cheap yeah uh, why are they so cheap because Gordon McPhail has a lot of casks so they have their own Uh, competitiveness to bring those casks uh, to the customers and uh, Milton Dove has no well tier one name on it so that the people well say Milton Dove I have no idea is it good is it bad I don't know 
I, I take a, a well-known name and I'm, well, I, tr uh, I believe uh, that I can spend <laughs> tens or twenty more for such a bottle. Or even in this age, you pay a hundred more. So I have to be very careful not to start drinking on this whiskey because otherwise my tasting buds would burn by this full 60% alcohol. For the American visitors, 120 or 120.8 proof. And this alcohol kicks in the nose, but there's sherry. A lot of sherry together with an intense oakiness and fruits, dark fruits, stewed fruits, as they said on the label. Probably a little cinnamon in it and cane sugar. Yeah. So everything is cask, full, intense, mature. I have to be careful not to dilute it too much. So, 54, 52. <clears throat> Close enough. Yeah, it's open, opens up. Little oranges are coming through. This might be from the distillery character. Fruity and aromatic fruity. Not this light apple pears, peaches. No, dark, heavy, strong. Mm -hmm. Sugary, full, mouth coating. Mm -hmm. First filled sherry, oranges. Yeah. So with a full 60.4, mm, it would have been probably too much oak, too much strength. But with this light dilution it's still powerful but sugary and some well sweeter oranges but there's a dry aftertaste so the, the oak is there probably a, a hint of milk chocolate but mm, not too too heavy uh, and no no bitterness at all Yeah, a wonderful piece of work. Mm -hmm. So whenever you have the chance to get your hands on one of those Milton Duff bottles, extremely good. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come, as always.